And verse uh, 6, 4 says, And there were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that. So he's talking about in those days which were before the flood and also after that, meaning after the flood. So there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men. So the, it's plainly explaining that giants were created when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men before and after the flood. And they bare children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. Okay. So this, the way they, they came into uh, existence before the flood is the same way they came into existence after the flood, which is through satanic occult activity. It gives um, fallen angels access to this realm. This is what, you know, Satanism is about. This is what uh, all the occult, pagan, wicked religious practices of the ancient world were about when when God told, when God called out Abraham and separated him from them, he said, you know, he pulled him out of an idolatrous nation and told him to come and he would make him a great nation and the Messiah would come through, through him that would save the world. That, that um, all the pagan nations were, were in occult rituals and, and, he, and he told the descendants of Abraham who were the Jewish people, you're going to represent me in the world. And all these pagan nations around you don't practice what they're practicing. Don't go into idolatry and, and, and the Babylonian you know, uh, worship and all these things that they're doing. There were satanic, you know, human sacrifices, sacrificing their babies. And when the blood sacrifice of humans comes comes out um, to these to these fallen angels, it gives them access to this realm. And that's how they're producing offspring. The seed is is the offspring. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. So he's he's talking to the serpent here, which is Satan. And he's saying, "I'm going to put enmity between your offspring and her offspring." So it's put clearly stating that Satan has offspring. You know, and the the way he gets offspring is through through people worshiping him and giving him access to this realm. In modern times, the most infamous uh, Satanist is uh, named Aleister Crowley, and he uh, opened up portals to the demonic realm. And there's, the Satanism has exploded, but see, it's ultra secret, and people don't know about it, that this is this is what's happening. But uh, Aleister Crowley... Um, uh, it, uh, was confronted by uh, a spirit that called himself Lamb, and when you look at the draw, he drew drawings of him, and he the drawings of him looks exactly like a gray alien. Which um, through the occult, these uh, demonic um, entities are are coming into our realm. And through through portals of uh, you know the Bible talks about this, there's there's uh, chambers inside the earth where these uh, creatures dwell that are bound, but by God giving man acts uh, dominion over the earth, and then that that dominion was usurped by Satan, but but also uh, Satan is limited in what he can do, but by men worshiping him and performing these occult rituals they're giving more and more access blood sacrifice human sacrifice i mean satanists love abortion the people who um, who uh, make it legal are in the occult uh, this was a christian nation it was founded as a christian nation how does uh, you know a christian nation allow the murdering of babies because satanic people have taken control of our government and they've taken control of the media, and they've taken control of Hollywood, and and it's like through these things, they're giving uh, demons access to this realm. And once they get access to this realm, they can genetically create offspring for Satan. And that is what that's what happened in the ancient world. And God had to stop it because it got so bad; He destroyed the whole world. And at this time, it's it's happening now through. Um, 
the all the genetic um, hybrid stuff that's going on and you know GMO genetically modifying the foods genetically modifying animals mixing humans animals together chimeras um, stem cell human stem cell research and mixing the stem cells of humans and animals this is this is uh, satanic stuff that God said should never be done. Do not mingle seeds, he said. Each is to go according to its own kind. And this is what happened in ancient times, and the world was becoming corrupt, not just not just morally, which is bad enough, but when it became, when you stop playing God and start genetically modifying what God has created, the order he has created, he had to step in and destroy it. So it's happening again. All this knowledge that's been increased to this day is um, is what was prophesied in the book of Daniel. And the knowledge is offered by Satan. He says, eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and you'll be wise like God. You will become gods. And this is what people do.